It's your girl Ro in the building and I'm here to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to make my gourmet apples, the red velvet chocolate apples. I'm going to be dipping them in a white almond bark and craft caramel. I'm going to be using the craft caramel bits in this particular video. Now here I have two bags, but I'm actually going to use a total of three. You're going to need you some apple sticks and some coffee creamer. I'm using the flavor French vanilla. You're also going to need a red velvet box mix. Just follow the instructions on the back of the box with the ingredients using the water, oil, and the eggs. Now, in another bowl, you want to put your almond bark or your chocolate. I'm using almond bark, and I used two packs, and I did 30-second intervals until the chocolate was completely melted and nice and smooth, as you see here. And in another bowl, you want to prepare your cake mix. Now I'm going to be using a red velvet flavoring just to flavor up the cake mix a little bit. And all the ingredients recipe that I use in this video will be listed in the description box below. So just make sure you check that out. But you want to mix that until everything is well incorporated. Scrape down the side of your bowls. Check the bottom to make sure there's no cake powder mix sitting at the bottom. Now preparing my pan, I'm going to spray some Pam spray evenly across my pan. I am using a 13 by 9 inch pan. Now I'm going to line my pan with some parchment paper. And this is just to make sure my cake doesn't stick to the pan. Now once this is completed, then you can pour in your batter. And remember to follow the instructions on the back of the box. But I did bake my cake at 350 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes, depending on your oven. Or insert a toothpick and it comes out clean, then it's done. But do not pull out your homemade red velvet recipe for these treats. This is why I chose to use a box mix because it's going to be broke down into a crumb. Now preparing the apples, I did not strip the wax from the apples. I used a veggie wash. I cleaned them, rinsed them, dried them completely. For the apple sticks, I will leave it in the description box below. And in another pot, I'm going to apply both bags of the caramel bits. Then add one fourth cup of the coffee creamer. You want to cook this over medium to low heat using a silicone spoon or spatula and you want to continue to mix this, stir it while over medium low heat. If you're working with a digital stove, you want to be between three to four, but long as it's on medium to low heat, continue to stir until your bits have melted completely. Now I'm adding in the third bag and I'm adding a third bag because I'm working with some fairly large apples. So they're like medium to large apples, but I needed this caramel mixture to cover up to 12 apples. So adding the third bag, it did make the caramel thicker. So I'm going to be applying one third cup of more of the coffee creamer, but I'm going to add a little bit at a time just to incorporate the creamer well and get the consistency, get down to the consistency that I need. Now I'm pouring in the remainder of the creamer and mixing that so that it can incorporate well. And now it's to the consistency that I need. Nice, smooth, and runny. If your caramel do start to harden up, just put it back on the stove top and, meet it and heat it on medium low. So taking your apple, you're going to dive on in there and do a rotating turn, bringing it up and make sure you get all that extra caramel off your apple. Scrape the bottom and then place it on a silicone mat or parchment paper. 
Now, if you get any bubbles, just take a toothpick and pop them, but begin to shake and some of them will pop out. But before you dip your next apple, you wanna just take your spatula or spoon and mix it before you apply the next apple. But after you have mixed it, you're gonna see that it's gonna smooth out as you see here. But make sure you let all that extra caramel drain off. So now with these, they do give a little bit of puddle. Don't worry, don't fret. What I do is pick up my apples and place them in a whole nother spot so that I can have a nice clean bottom. The caramel do not slide off the apples. As you see here, just pick them up and place them in another spot. All right, so as you prepare to dip into your chocolate, be sure that your chocolate is not hot. After you melt your chocolate, let it sit for about five or 10 minutes before you dip your caramel apples in your chocolate or your almond bark, all right? You wanna carefully, carefully scrape the bottom that you don't get so much caramel in that chocolate or almond bark. And if you do, just mix it up really well. Okay, if you get too much, then you mess it up, all right? But as you did with the caramel, you're gonna do the same thing for the chocolate. Pick it up and just place it into a whole nother spot. Now for the cake. We're gonna break up this cake. It just came out the oven. It doesn't matter if it just came out or if it's been sitting, but you wanna have all of this prepared before you start dipping your apples. So bake your cake way before time, but break it down into a crumble, place it in a bowl. And as that is already prepared. Your apples should still be wet. And I'm just testing it out because I did this before the crumble. And apply it right into your bowl and just rotate it until the uh, cake has completely covered your apple. And I like to see a little bit of white just to give it a nice look, nice finished look, as you see here. Now, before you add in another apple, break up that crumble, okay? I'm showing you a technique here. If your apple's dry, instead of dipping them completely in the chocolate, just apply um, a generous amount around the apple, um, a good amount so that the crumble can um, adhere to that apple, all right? But if you choose to re-dip them, that's totally up to you. It's just gonna make the apple much heavier. And there you have it. So to finish up this look, I'm just going to apply some chestnut cookies to the top of the apple while the caramel is still soft. And that will give our complete gourmet red velvet chocolate apples. So if you have enjoyed this video and you new here, give this video a thumbs up. If you're coming back, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know how you enjoyed this video and you already know it's your girl Ro about to go but I'll see you all in the next video.